everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today I thought we would finish off the week with Chanel because why not? We have been on a roll and I realized that I have a bunch of the cruise collection which is now in store. So a lot of times you could buy this at Chanel.com which of course I did. <laughs> um, but now you can actually go touch and feel it and try it on in store. And I wanted to share a few of my favorites with you today, um, particularly these guys. I know you've seen this guy a lot because I'm in love with this guy. This is the Duo Bronze at Lumiere, love. And then you guys, this is one of my favorite quads. If you can tell, it is very well loved. It is called the Lumiere Naturels, and it is an absolute gorgeous palette that I felt like we should add to the mix of this week if you are more of a uh, we've been doing the blurry series which has been amazing but this is a really awesome quad that now is in stores and available and I thought we better give it a little highlight as well as some of the pencils that go along with the look the Stilo Ombre at Contour and then just some other fun Chanel goodies. Um, I did have a request for someone to, that wanted me to use the Chanel Sublimage. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this look and playing with some more Chanel makeup, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, I thought that we would just try to slap on as many Chanel products today as possible. I thought I would actually start with Chanel La Beige uh, Eau de Tonte, and I'm going to use this as a primer today. I really like this as a foundation, but I had a request to actually show you the Chanel Sublimage La Tonte. So I thought, you know what, let's kind of build and have fun using um, as many Chanel products today as possible. So you guys, this is a great primer, and right now on my skin, I just have my skincare and SPF. So I am going to take this little brush that it comes with, and I am going to just put one layer, maybe two pumps of this, on the skin to kind of use this as a hydrating primer, because it can be, actually it's shown that it can be used as a foundation, as a primer, and then as a topper. Um, and you know what, I have used it, I haven't actually used it as a primer. So we're gonna do that today. I'm gonna take one more pump. You guys, as I said, I'm kind of a fan of this. It feels so good. It's like basically water, but it does give you some blurring effect. Not a whole lot of coverage, um, but enough to make your skin you know, look fresh and healthy. So we are gonna just buff this into the skin and then we'll go ahead and use some Blamage Taunt. And my eyes are much better today, you guys. I did not use that serum. I think it must be expired or something like that. Okay, so that was just like basically two pumps of the La Beige Eau de Taunt. Love that. This is one of my favorites, you guys. I am kind of pleasantly surprised by that. Okay, you guys, my face feels very hydrated. Okay, so this is a really nice tinted moisturizer. And um, you guys, I have made a dent in this. It is a very pretty, pretty, um, you know, tinted moisturizer. It has a little bit more coverage than your typical one. And I do find that this makes your skin really look good by the end of the day. It's one that wears well. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this. And you guys, I'm actually in shade B32 is what the artist who had done my makeup uh, put me in. And you know, I'm not a big fan of the old uh, <laughs> going pink. Um, now this does have some fragrance in it. It is different than the traditional perfume smell. It kind of smells, um, I mean, it definitely has fragrance. So this is not 
one, but it's not that like, it isn't the same as the, um, what's it called? Like the ones in the little shaker tube. So I'm going to take, this comes with another one of their Chanel brushes. You guys, if you've never tried this guy and it is just very comfortable on the skin. So I'm going to just come through here and it's just going to give you a really fresh moisturized kind of look. Okay, you guys, this is what it looks like on the skin. I'm just going to tell you my skin feels very moisturized, plumped, just kind of blurred. This isn't going to give you a ton of coverage either, but it's definitely going to have more coverage than La Beige. Um, but it is a really nice tinted moisturizer. So if you are more mature and you like a little bit richer uh, kind of, foundation but the one that's not going to make you look cakey this is really good also by the way i am a sensitive girl <laughs> um, my skin will tell me when there's an issue and i did have never had issues with this from the get-go so you guys i do suffer from rosacea um, and so i try really hard not to use things with a whole lot of fragrance my skin's in a good spot right now I think it's due to my skincare. It's all balanced out lately. And so this guy um, has never upset my skin from the get go, but it also is just a really, you know, nice tinted moisturizer. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to spot correct. I'm gonna add in, you guys, one game changer for me has been the Chanel Low Corrector in Rose. I have literally just been using a teeny bit in my dark spots and over here um, and it has just been it really brightens up your skin so I'm gonna use just a teeny bit of that I don't have any other of their um, I find that their uh, what's it called their concealer is a little bit drying for underneath my eyes so I'm gonna use a little bit of the corrector here and then I'm gonna top it off with my Giorgio Armani power um, stretchable concealer. That's been my go-to. So I'm just going to take that. I'm going to actually continue to use this brush here, you guys, and I'm going to lighten up right underneath this area. Can you see how this just like really brightens up that eye area? This was a Stacy recommendation. She is my fellow Chanelaholic. <laughs> um, and so she uh, told me that just a teeny dot right there is like a total game changer. So, and she was right, you guys. I am in love with that and I'm so glad that I got it. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of this and put a teeny bit underneath my eyes. The cruise collection has finally hit local stores. <laughs> and so I thought I would play with that today because I've been playing with these guys for the past month. And I have to tell you, I'm spoiling, spoiler alert, these are my absolute favorites. Um, so when I do, I'm sure when you see my June favorites, it'll probably be all Chanel because I literally have fallen in love with this whole collection. So. I am going to use the infamous bronzer that I feel like I finally found a bronzer that I love and that I'm not actually looking or seeking around you guys. It is such a great formula. The color is not too cool or too warm. I just love it. I actually think this highlighter is super pretty. It can seem a little bright in the pan, but it is actually quite beautiful. And as I said, of course, I have both, but I love it because I'm using this as a setting powder. And then this is my favorite highlighter ever. It is so pretty, you guys. Okay, let's put this on. We'll warm up the skin. I'm gonna use my favorite highlighter over here. Oof, I just love this, you guys. It's definitely, I know people are like, I have to buy both of them. You don't, I just really prefer 
this highlighter i just feel like it's so for someone who's a little bit more mature and doesn't want to be totally disco ball highlighted this is one that's subtle and so pretty i literally love it I'm going to use this kind of peachy color here as a setting powder just to set all of that down right now. So I am getting a lot of use out of these. I've been using them daily and so using that as a powder um, has been really nice. And you guys, I've also used this on my eyes as an eyeshadow look and I think that looks beautiful as well. So who else is crazy and wants to have like a matching powder to their <laughs> to their foundations? I was laughing because I literally wanted, I, you know, I bought one. I just can't do that. It just was too itchy. I have not tried the big guy in the loose powder, but I'm suspecting that it is scented as well. Now, one thing I'm gonna tell you about these guys, these two do not have that heavy scent that Chanel has. So if you guys do, you know, are sensitive to fragrance um, in your products, I literally do not smell anything. Whereas you guys like this guy, you open up with a blush. I mean, you can smell, <laughs> it smells delicious. I mean, it smells really pretty, but it is very fragrant. And so these guys do not have that going on. Now we are going to play. This is the Lumiere Naturels, and I bought this about a month ago. And as you can kind of see, it's probably one of my, uh, this is well used. I love this and it is now available here locally. You can go touch it and feel it and look at it in stores and I really love it. So I thought today we would play with that along with some of the pencils. I've been having so much fun with eyeliner, you guys. Thank you because you got me back into it. But these are the Stilo Ombre at Contour. I'm going to do an eye look using this and then a little fun pop of color. Um, but I just wanted to show you this one is amazing. I just went through the whole blurry series, which are beautiful quads, but I know some people really just want a pretty natural, <laughs> um, neutral palette. And you guys, this is going to be it. It is gorgeous. So let's go ahead. I'm going to bring you in a little closer and let's play with this today. Okay guys, I am going to start with this little neutral shade right up in this corner. Let me give you swatches real quick. So you guys, here is the quad here. And I'm in love, again, I'm really attracted to this metallic topaz over in the corner. And then it has this beautiful bronze shade that's gonna make your eyes pop. These are just fantastic warmer neutrals. I also picked up the Metallic Flash Stilo um, Ombre, and then this is in Vague. So as you guys can see, this one's gonna have that Metallic Topaz, kind of similar, a little bit different than this guy. The Vague is a really pretty bronzy look, and I'm gonna show you how to use that if you just wanted to use this instead of the quad itself. And then I brought out um, purple chalk because I thought it would be fun to add a little bit of purple to this kind of color story here. Okay, you guys, I'm going to start with this guy here and we're just going to place this all over the lid as a base. Here is our one shadow look, you guys, so pretty. Then I'm going to go and take this Stilo Ombre at Contour in Vague. We're gonna line the upper and lower lash line with this guy. And then you guys, this could be one and done, or 
if you wanted to get the palette and use this. I just want to give you a couple different options because it is super pretty. I'm going to take this and just line near the lash line, defining these eyes. These are so easy to use. I've been thrilled with this formula. I'm going to come under here. Connecting these together. Okay, you guys, this is kind of look number one. Obviously, um, if you put on your mascara, it would just make your eyes pop. But I just wanted to show you, this is kind of that natural, summery, bronzy look. I'm gonna come over to this and we're gonna put this guy in the crease. Okay, you guys, building from this look, if you wanted to do a really pretty bronzy eye, this shade is gorgeous. So we're gonna put, we're gonna lay some of that down on the lid. You guys, we've kind of now got a smoky bronzy eye building on this. I'm gonna use a little bit of that bronze color underneath my eyes as well, just running it just a little bit. I've already got that vague pencil going on, but I'm just gonna go on the outer here. Then we're gonna use the favorite color ever, um, and it is this guy. I'm gonna pop that, I'm gonna use my finger, and I'm gonna pop, ooh, you guys, it is such a pretty color. I'm gonna pop that right above my pupil, a little bit on that. We're lightening up that lid. You see how that just transforms that bronzy into something extra special? Guys, I also wanna show you metallic flash. This is so pretty. So it is a little bit it is kind of along the lines of this guy in the corner that I'm in love with, but in pencil form. And so what you could do is just skip the palette and use metallic, and you can take that and you can put this, it's a little bit lighter, guys. I'm gonna take a little and put it in this, kind of over here in the corner, and I'll run it kind of under here. I'm gonna close my eyes and show you this look. And I know it looks like a little bit smudgy and such. So what I'm going to do is go ground this by putting on a mascara and then we'll play with one more look. Nice. We have one more day of clumpy mascara. Um, still having some, some lash issues, but just ignore the clumps and I'm going to close my eyes. This is going to be the basic look using this gorgeous palette. And again, I kind of built from kind of a natural look to a little bit more like boom. And then what I wanted to do is I want to use a little bit of purple chalk. You guys, and I'm gonna, I love to use a little bit of purple with this look. Um, it just really takes it up just an extra notch. But you guys, isn't this a pretty quad? Chanel has been doing an amazing job and I literally have been loving everything I purchased. So what I was gonna do is take this purple chalk I'm gonna run it a little bit in my water line and then we can decide if we wanna take it up on the top. But I wanted to show you just with mascara because this could be just your look, kind of a bronzy, glowy summer look. Okay, you guys, I just took it up a notch by taking that purple chalk and running it in the waterline on the upper and bottom. I just think it looks really pretty with this kind of bronzy topaz um, eye. So if you wanted to do that, you could. Let's little lip. So I was gonna try to use all of Chanel, Chanel products today, but I thought I would pull out this 
Lila B lip oil because the way that they kind of show this there is a new cocoa flash in lumiere and there's one other shade you guys and i was tempted to get <laughs> i love that formulation it was very similar to boy which i already have so i opted not to get that yes i kind of wanted to but i was being diligent um, but this little guy these Ly lila b tinted lip oil is just kind of a very pretty um, shiny lip oil that I thought we would pull out because I think it will work just as well. A nice neutral look. This is really a great formula, you guys, because it also just sort of stains your lip just a little bit, gives you a little gloss. If we want to keep with Chanel, love my um, 804. We'll put a little of that on top. And make that a pretty glossy look. One last thing we need to do, we need to pop on a little blush. I'm gonna just stick with the Golden Sun because I feel like that goes well with this whole entire kind of look for summer. I'm gonna just take a little bit of this, you guys, and just put a little bit on the cheeks to warm them up. Pull the whole look together. Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. Using as many Chanel products as I could put on my face. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let's finish with a little Chanel perfume. So I haven't even gone down that rabbit hole. I used to wear a lot of Chanel perfume um, when in my younger years, but they have all those kind of cool um, Chanel. They're kind of these ones. I don't know the the La O de Chanel, this kind of guys, I'm very intrigued. And they have a new one coming out in July called Riviera. And it sounded like it was Orange Blossom and Neroli, which is right up my alley. So well, who knows, but let's put a little bit of Devel on today. Let's see how that smells. You guys, that's like before I even smell it, I spill it, it all over. Mm, okay, you guys, it's a really good kind of fresh, clean scent. Mm, okay, I'm liking that. I will put the description down of this guy, but if you have any of these guys, I'm really intrigued by this line right here. Um, I, I've been curious about it. So let me know if you have a favorite and then i'm kind of excited for the riviera because i love that orange blossom i love neroli and so i was thinking that might be the one to try <laughs> um, you guys as always thank you for coming down the chanel rabbit hole with me let me know if you want to i've got a few other videos i kind of thought would be fun to do with that kind of like focusing on eyeliners and stuff like that to do a single eye look but you guys let me know. This has been our week of Chanel. And as always, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. And have a good weekend.